have to yell at this. <laughs> GoPro, stop recording! Stop recording! GoPro, stop. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Tucker, do you see Steve? Oh, you see people you want. Who am I to say we tried our best? Who am I to say we kept ignoring all the promises? Who am I to say there's nothing there? Who am I to look down? So we are hiking around our home and we also have story time for you. So our story time is going to be about how we ended up in this RV lifestyle. Or as we actually didn't even know it was a lifestyle, to be honest. Oh, oh that's what it is. So that was eventful. I think we got a little bit of it, but a um, little tiny dog just tried to attack Tucker. <laughs> this is why you put your dogs on leash, people. Put your dogs on leashes. I guess it was a neighbor dog, because there's ranches and stuff around here, and they just kind of let their dogs wander. Well. This one almost got a kicked like a soccer ball. <laughs> but Tucker's all right. He did a good job. He didn't try to attack it or anything. So that was awesome. Because our dog is well behaved. ended up in this RV lifestyle. We were engaged and we were trying to figure out how we were going to afford a house. Well, we live in California and trying to afford a house is interesting. That's, <laughs> um, that's one way to put we it. We could have bought in a house. However, it would have taken most of our budget to do so. And we want to eat because we kind of like food. I mean, we probably shouldn't eat very much, but <laughs> we like food. So Reno's dad actually suggested, hey, why don't you guys look into living in a trailer or something? That way you can save up and buy a house. So we're like, okay, we'll, we'll take a look into that. dad gave us the idea to buy a fifth wheel or a trailer or some sort of RV I started looking on Craigslist and Facebook marketplace but what I found is by the time I would show one to Jessica it would be sold so I don't know if it was timing or what but it was a struggle to find anything that was in our price range so and we really didn't have that much money to be honest my mom had taken out an insurance policy on me when I was born um, and it had matured to about $7,000, but we didn't want to spend all of it. We just wanted to spend a little bit, and then the rest was supposed to start a down payment for a house. Um, that's not quite how it worked out. <laughs> so we finally found one, and uh, it was the only one we were actually even able to visit. Um, and this is when we learned that uh, fifth wheel layouts were way nicer for actually living in. Um, so we, we went and looked at it, the owner said, oh, everything works on it. It's great. It wasn't plugged into anything. It was older. It was a 1985 Leighton Celebrity. So yeah, we, we looked at it and they said, oh, it doesn't leak. Everything works on it. It's great. So uh, we bought it. And when we got it home, nothing worked on it. The converter didn't work. The air conditioner didn't work. The roof leaked. Um, 
we actually were we were just gonna clean it up and just kind of use it as is and uh jessica wanted to move the couch from one side to the other and found Bad a idea. yeah we found that there was a fat hole in the floor from the water leaking and it just rotted <laughs> so after that that started an entire remodel project well this trail didn't go anywhere <laughs> <laughs> we walked all the way up there and it was just a little canal thing and we're like mm, we can't really walk up there so now we're walking back onto the main road i do know where we go people but we decided let's see where this takes us took us to nowhere <laughs> what are you trying to say <laughs> well it just didn't work out the way we planned just like our our old fifth wheel <laughs> yeah there you go it worked out eventually eventually So we take these really long walks throughout the day. This is our second one. We normally do two, sometimes we do three, but we do them so we can stay active, especially during this shelter in place business. You know, we're not moving as much like we would be at work. So we, instead of, you know, sitting down on the couch all day long, like I would like to do, we walk. That way we can stay small and not put on that quarantine 19 or whatever they're calling it because ain't nobody got time for that so during this walk we discovered you know the cute residential area of our hometown and we saw this house and i swear to you it looks just like a house you would see from Fantasyland at disneyland it has green and purple it looks like it would be bibbidi boppity boutique kid you not <laughs> And it looks really cool. We actually really like it. So even though we can't go to Disneyland right now, we have a little bit of Disneyland here with us as we walk every day. There's two llamas. We have found the llamas. I found a bench at the park right before we start walking up the hill again. It's kicking my butt this walking, let me tell you. <laughs> so, we discovered the hole. Well, because of me. Yay. And we were thinking, well, maybe we can patch it. Just do that one side, seeing if we can do it. No, the hole was so far down. You can see underneath the trailer, it was that bad. So we did what any reasonable people would do while trying to plan a wedding. We decided to change the floors. And then from there, it just escalated. So we had, we changed the floors. Well then now we can't have new floors and not have new cabinets. So then we decided, oh, we're gonna paint the cabinets. Well, then we start painting them. Oh, we need new hardware. So then from there, it just spiraled down to a full remodel of this fifth wheel. So, there's a park right here. And what that means is that there are slides. So I'm going to be a big kid and go down a slide. But first, I have to walk up, you know, everything. Woo woo! Because I am an adult and I do what I want. So, okay. let me see. Is this gonna give me lots of static? Probably. Is it gonna burn my butt? Probably. So here we go. Whee! GoPro stop recording. shelter in place does not give you a good hair. 
Now we're on level ground, which makes me very happy. My, my asthma is not fun during these allergy season on top of the Corona. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, watch out for them Ronas. The Ronas. Nope. We are now back on the main trail, which is really nice. And I'm gonna go this way, so my Corona shelter in place hair doesn't look as terrible. So once we discovered we were in full remodel, I, mainly me, I needed help with planning a wedding. So Reno's mom, my mommy-in-law, we also just call her mommy because that's who she is, helped us plan our entire wedding. She was actually really our wedding planner, to be honest. Once I was like, I need help. It was like my wedding was planned in like two or three days. It was wonderful. So I give her a lot of credit because I don't know if I could have planned a wedding and tried to figure out the remodel at the same time. Oh, I guess I'm done. <laughs> Camera died board. over there. <laughs> Battery equal dead. D-E-D -E dead. Tucker, are you a sheepdog over there? Something dog. You're a something dog. Right no, he's a gopher look. dog. You're a gopher dog? Tried to get those gophers? Get them gophers. <laughs> right now and it's actually really cool we have a lot of branches <laughs> we have a lot of branches and everything that um, is behind or near our home and they have lots of places so it's getting down to the nitty-gritty with the construction the wedding medical stuff in between just the whole enchilada so thankfully Reno had a lot of help from his family. His family is very handy. His dad and his brother-in-law helped with the carpentry and the construction and helped us get it all done. It was wonderful. So we get to wedding day. Happy day. Yay. <laughs> well, at least for one of us maybe. And um, we live in it for about a year and actually enjoyed it. It was like night and day with the way the remodel turned out. Completely different. And then we decided to move on from it and sell it and buy the one that we ended up buying. And there we go. So once my dad suggested that we live in a RV, I instantly loved the idea and <laughs> thought that I needed to be the next keep your day dream. Um, <laughs> and that I could go out and do uh, RV adventures and be a YouTuber. And it sounded like uh, the ideal life. Um, didn't quite work out that way, but um, we were able to take some trips though, and that was a lot of fun. So um, I really enjoy that part of it. And also um, the price was right. So we couldn't complain about that because it was living a fifth wheel or live with parents or try to find something cheap to rent. And this seemed like this way we could kind of have our own space, even if it wasn't large. Um, and we could escape at a moment's notice. So there are some downsides to RV living. Um, one for us is we just really don't have the budget to travel or the, the time because uh, we're still working and uh, we also are on staff at a church. So uh, we gotta be here every Sunday, so we can't get too far away. Uh, we also found that if you bring a bunch of stuff home and you set it down, you have now completely destroyed the entire house <laughs> and it's gonna take you hours to clean because that's just not how it goes. But all in all, um, it's, um, I guess my preferred way to live. <laughs> so. We've come to enjoy it. Yeah, so yeah, we're definitely enjoying it.
Okay, so that's the end of our walk. Tucker's over there having a break. <laughs> and then we're gonna head in for some dinner, so uh, yeah. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the story of how we ended up in this crazy RV life. It's not what um, we thought of when we first got engaged, but now we love it. So we'll see you all in the next video. Bye.